yeah so this is what I'm dealing with <laughs> this is uh, you can't really see the because of the windshield <laughs> is dirty right there but yeah this is what we got today and and are getting in southeast Michigan Okay, so I am going to be making the Mississippi pot roast. So I've got my my roast in my crock pot. I'm going to cook it on low. I'm going to take this ranch season packet. Don't mind my decor. My ranch seasoning packet. Um, if you watched yesterday's Meyer Keto Grocery Haul, you'll see that this is only one gram carb. Um, I'm not sure what the Hidden Valley Ranch one is, but this was four for a dollar. So, so you're just going to take this and sprinkle it all over your roast. Okay. I'm just going to take the rest of my Kerrygold butter and put that in there as well. Just right on top of it of these um, deli sliced mild pepper rings. Uh, these are two gram carbs um, for a fourth cup. So not bad. It's gonna be a really good meal if I can open this. So I'm just gonna, I mean, pour some of the juice in there. Why not? You gotta have some juices. I don't know how much to put in. This will probably be fine. That's good. Then you're just going to cover and cook for on low, I'd say about eight hours, on high, uh, four hours. to um, update my Amazon wish list because it helps me remember the things that I need. Like, I know I needed a cutting board the well, last time I couldn't find it. And I don't know why it went. I literally don't know what could have happened to it. So now that I've cut them all, I'm just going to, I don't have one of those fancy spinners. I really want one, but I'm just kind of going to give these a good, I just have a strainer inside of a bowl and we lost one. Let this fill up. And I lost my regular vinegar. So, I'm just going to pour some apple cider vinegar on it. Not a lot. So basically I just stir these around with my hand and kind of rub them around to try to get them as clean as possible. I never used to like radish. My mom always ate them when I was a kid and I just, I thought they were spicy and gross. 
Since I started keto, I've actually started eating them again, and I really like them. So I just cut up this. I don't know if I have the video for that. And I wish I had a thinner. And I'm just going to put the this because we're going to be using this for salads. It'll be gone soon. Won't last very long. Just a paper towel, a couple paper towels down in the bag to help keep the moisture off of the lettuce. have my romaine for the week to make salads or whatever we're gonna need. Next I need to wash this spring mix. Needs fancy inventions. It got water out. Look at that. Celery. Oh, shoot. I'm still not. Really? Look, this is why you wash your produce, people. Ooh. I'm going to just rinse this off before I give it up. That's pretty disgusting. Uh, celery if you cut it up into small stacks and then you keep water in your thing the celery will stay fresher longer so we're just going to cut these into small stacks stacks stalks and we're put some water in there we are going to wash these again so because I don't have a salad spinner or a produce spinner, I'm just going to just give them a nice rub before I throw them over into the Tupperware. So we can have nice, clean, stalky stalks of celery. without dirt and poo upon them. Just have a little bit of water down in the bottom of these and then that will help keep these staying fresh.
I just put the broccoli and the cauliflower inside a bag together. We can use these to snack on with a veggie dip or just plain or even add them in for fresh veggies into um, a meal. Then the paper will stop flying up. So now I'm going to start the eggs. The egg bake. And I'm just going to start off by doing about 12 eggs into my bowl. Oh no. Oh no. It's very crowded, limited space in my kitchen, so. I usually buy the, um, 60 thing of eggs from Walmart. And that's actually what I have now, but uh, I am running very low on them. And I thought I, I thought it was full. I didn't realize that I had recently cooked with eggs. Um, these I cut up earlier, cut up and washed earlier, and I'm just gonna sprinkle some of them in here. I like big chunks. If you don't, cut them smaller. So that's why I like cutting these up because then you have them on hand and you're able to use them as you go. So into this egg mixture before I even start, I'm just going to put in some shredded cheese. Just a couple of little sprinkles. You can put in whatever type of cheese you want. And then I'm also going to of bacon. Again, you can put anything you want in your eggs. If you want sausage, if you want bacon, if you want pepperoni, if you want whatever you want, you can put in. Hopefully, let's not, you can't even see. I didn't realize. You couldn't even see. Okay, so I sprinkled those. Uh, green onions and cheese and bacon and I have the eggs and now I'm gonna go ahead and give them a nice whisk. So now I'm going to put more bacon on top. You can put real bacon chunks or, I mean, these are real bacon bits, but they're, you can make your own or you can get these. So I like a lot of bacon. Okay. And then I'm going to put just a tiny bit of more cheese on top. Cook for about 25, 30 minutes at like 350. Just check on them. They're so easy to make, and they're so, you can just take these out, pop them in a Tupperware, have them in the refrigerator, in the morning, get up, on your way out the door, and just grab them and go. So, I think my 
My bacon is still cooking, so I have to wait because I have it on two shelves. Oh my god, I didn't even see it. So this is what I put. I put more cheese on top and I put more bacon bits, sprinkled it all over. And I started to get a little hungry, so I decided to make myself a little salad. So I put a little bit of the romaine and a little bit of the um, spring mix that I made earlier. I had some mushrooms from the night before when I made my chili. And I'm just going to put some of this pre-cut chicken, grilled chicken. I haven't eaten anything yet today, so... I'll just put a couple of that. I should have waited on my food scale. I keep forgetting because I just got it. So, once I remember. Oh, and I put, um, I, need, I had an avocado that needed to be eaten. It was about to go bad. It was starting to brown. So, I put that. It's just one of the really small ones. About just a pinch of bacon bits and a little bit of cheese and I thought about putting some pork rinds in it for the crunch factor or the like little cheese whisk but I think I want to put a couple little radish in it. I like radish and now that I have it all cut up from earlier just put a couple little pieces. And then some people don't. Do I want? I don't know what kind of. I think I want to do a mixture. And I'll put some Meyer brand ranch. And that's it. So you just pour your chicken in. And I want to put, I like crunch in mine, so my son have got some onions or <laughs> cute. Okay, so I'm just going to get my little paring knife. I need a new knife set, badly. So we'll just try to cut this up. Try to get what I can left out of this and then I'm gonna break into my avocado oil mayo. For keto, or you can even meal plan this. If you like chicken salad, um, if you have a nut that nuts or something, walnuts or whatever type of nut you want to put in there, you could do that. A lot of people like to put grapes in there, but you know, we can't have grapes. Um, but if you need that crunch factor in it, I'm gonna put some celery in mine. Girls needed some major kitchen appliances. Every week, I'm gonna try to order one or two things off of Amazon because I never used to cook this much. So now that I started keto, I'm cooking a lot more. A lot more, like every day. And so, oh, I forgot. This is for the. There's just essentials that I need. And I'm missing. I'm 
I think this is enough mayonnaise. I don't think I need to add any more, but I am going to add some seasoning. Um, Himalayan pink salt, black pepper, and garlic because then I wanted to put a little bit of garlic in. And then I'll just leave it right in there. And you have a nice little chicken salad. Now it's time for the tuna. I thought it was tuna and water. Put some relish where you can cut up your own pickles and put it in there. Cut up onions and celery. Good mix. And the kids love tuna fish. So this will probably be gone the next few days. And then there's your tuna salad. I'm gonna transfer these to this. And I just have the bacon wrapped up inside some paper towels to soak off some of the grease. And I'm gonna just put that inside a bag. and keep it in the refrigerator so whenever we need it for whatever, we can easily just take it out. I'm just gonna put my eggs in a nice cold bath so they'll be easier to peel. Okay, so the eggs are done and I've let them sit for a little bit and this is what they look like. They At first they will be raised up pretty high, but they've shrunk down some. Update how the Mississippi pot roast is looking. It's looking delicious. I did sprinkle some of my cabbage that I cut up over it because I like cooked cabbage and I just thought it sounded good. <laughs>